What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. Today we're going to tackle question five in the seventh grade math questions that North Carolina released this past school year. We can see that we're only being asked to find which expression, so any of our answer choices, is equivalent, so it says the same thing, just with different numbers, to one half times 2n plus 6. So in order to do a question like this well, you'll need to know about the distributive property, but we're also going to have to do some multiplying fractions by whole numbers when we actually go ahead and use the distributive property. So this question kind of tests you on two skills in one. North Carolina loves to do that with their math questions. So we look at this expression here. We have 1 half times, and then inside parentheses we have 2n plus 6. Now if you remember the distributive property, the distributive property tells us that if I see some number multiplied outside parentheses by some stuff inside that's being added or subtracted, I have to actually multiply one half by the first thing and one half by the second thing. And the third thing, if there were three um, things in parentheses that were being added, the fourth thing if there were four, and so on and so on. Thankfully, we just have two quick multiplications to do. That's one half times 2n. And I know there's going to be a plus in the middle, because there was a plus in the middle in my parentheses, plus whatever 1 half times 6 is. And you might be wondering, why has Mr. W written it so small here? Well, the reason is, because when I go ahead and multiply these, I'm actually going to start by saying that both of these are over 1. So whatever 2n is, it's the same thing as 2n divided by 1. 6, we can think of as 6 wholes, or 6 ones. And now, I have 1, 2 multiplying fractions problems that I can just go ahead and do by multiplying across my numerators and denominators. For this one, I start with 1 times 2n, multiply across my numerators, and I get just 2n. Multiply across my denominators, and I get 2. Now, 2n divided by 2, I'll go ahead and do this step right now. 2 divided by 2 is just 1, so we can think of that as canceling. And that leaves us with just n. And I know that I'm adding something, but what exactly am I adding? Well, we figure this multiplying fractions problem out. 1 times 6 is 6. 2 times 1 is 2. 6 over 2, 6 halves, also known as 6 divided by 2. We'll say that that's 3. So we're looking for an answer that has n plus 3. And it looks like that answer is choice D. n plus 3 is equivalent to 1 half times 2n plus 6.